about the idea of bottle caps and, and its um, yeah. predecessor, um, pointillism, and I said, I can, I can take you from pointillism to bottle caps, so <laughs> there we go. <laughs> pointillism is a painting technique. It uses tiny dots of brilliant color. When viewed, the eye produces all the intermediary colors. But the dots don't disappear. They remain clearly visible as the tesserae of a mosaic, says H.W. Jansen, the great art history guru who wrote History of Art, the text we all had in college. I now present a quick view of art made with tiny pieces. Pointillism to bottle caps. Well, I, um, I'm going to mention why, how I ever got involved in this because my other work is uh, stonework and it's very, very detailed. And this is just fun. fun. I mean, my work is fun, but it's it's harder. This is just loosey goosey, and, it, and it, no matter what you do, it can't go wrong, right? So, um, but we have this cabin up in the in the Terrials, and it's got this 1,200. Uh, foot driveway, and uh, we were up there, and I, I know, uh, Stu opened a beer, and he dropped the cap, and he kind of ground it into the dirt, and then he opened a few more, and, and the next thing I knew, I was going, ooh, I kind of like to organize those, and then we go back up there, and we take bottle caps up there, and I start putting them in the dirt, and I, I thought, oh, this is so much fun, you know, but then, you know, it would freeze and thaw, and they get all discombobulated, and so, 
we decided, you know, maybe we should do something permanent. So that's where we came up with this idea to do the stepping stones. Which, this is just an example. And I know you saw those that Marlia had on the, the um, video. But um, so the way we do that is we got we just got these uh, 12 by 12 concrete blocks at Home Depot and still made these uh, forms, one by two forms. So you just set that on there like that, and there's about a fourth inch gap there, and that's what I fill with <coughs> set. And then I have a piece of, and you'll get one, a piece of tag board that's the same 12 by 12, and I lay out the design, and then uh, we, <coughs> we smooth out the mortar, and so it gets, just get a little surface tension on it, and then I transfer the bottle caps. But I don't push them in, that was a big mistake. When I first did I stick them in, and then of course they didn't fit right. But, so anyway, so the goal is you know, get them all arranged, and then you, you stick them in. So we've made a few dozen of those, and uh, they're in front of the cabin and starting down the driveway, which you can imagine is going to take a while. <laughs> so, um, but I know what we're doing today, we're just going to do some little trivets, six by six, roughly. And, um, but I wanted to tell you, if you do want to do any exterior bottle cap work, I've learned some things. It's very interesting. First of all, uh, they fade. You know, the cabin is at over 9,000 feet, and they've been up there a couple, some of them have been up there two years. So here's an example, like red, orange, and yellow. They're the absolute worst for fading, and I don't know why, but here was something I loved, and look what happened. Oh, oh. Wow. Wow. So that was, that one. Stu says, but it's still structurally sound. Yeah. <laughs> so that's a great consolation, right? <laughs> so uh, anyway, and then this is a, another one that had both uh, problems with rusting and fading. So you can see the red, sorry, darling, oh, okay. yellow and red, and then here's a year or so later. Oh, so, yeah, is there anything so, you could paint over them? Well, that was what I was going to say. What we've done now, we started spraying them with, you know, uh, urethane, polyurethane, uh -huh. so we'll see in a year, you know, like actually I did those about six months ago, so we'll see how they last. Mm -hmm. But what's interesting about, uh, like I said, this both faded and rusted, mm -hmm. and so what I found, now here's another one, I made this big dipper, mm -hmm. uh, and um, look what happened to the oh, bottle caps, so cool. and, huh. but <laughs> what, what I found out was, I don't know if anybody's ever drunk Negro Modelo, but th these uh -huh. bottle caps that have the foil on them, they look snazzy, but it's cheapo, cheapo metal in there. All of those will rust bad. Mm. So for another Change example, my brand. <laughs> 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 another example, um, no, this is the one that's rusted. This is a one where, see, in order to make them not so busy, sometimes I use plain ones on the outside, and that's why I was so excited about using those Negro Modellos, because they're plain. But also, if you go to like a homebrew store, you can get plain bottle caps that they sell to people making beer. So on this one, I was just using gold. I just had a mix. I had some Negro Modelo. I had some ones from the uh, homebrew store. And look at this. is so interesting, because in the rusted ones, see how some of them, this, they were all the same, but now these, the good ones from the homebrew store, didn't rust. But these other ones rusted, so that's just an FYI. So very interesting. It's really sad, you know, some deteriorating. Yeah. Um, Susan, a question about the polyurethane. Will that yellow over time? Yeah, that's, you're going to yeah, find out. Yeah, out. we're going to find out. You so. can actually do some outdoor acrylic paint. I make stepping stones like yeah, crazy. Yeah, yeah. So many that I was on Google Earth. <laughs> Show. <laughs> yeah, but the outdoor acrylic paint it works really well. Okay, rust and is it a brush and other on or a spray? Brush on. Oh, okay. And outdoor okay. rust oleum clear also. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So as I was saying, if you um, you know if your designs get too busy, like sometimes I put these solid ones on the outside, which you can get from the homebrew stores. But the, the problem is, when you first get them, you know, they're splayed out, mm -hmm. so then you can crimp them. But if you put a splayed out bottle cap 
in with a with a, one that's come off of a bottle, they, they won't fit right. Mm -hmm. So, as Darla so sweetly helped me with, this is this is this apparatus. This, this uh, older gentleman is a friend of mine. He's made me this thing, which so you can just take you know some of the new bottle caps, and you can just you know this is like a, a fake uh, bottle, right? And it'll, I usually do this on the floor. Yeah, but. And so what do you charge for this service? We <laughs> <laughs> can read it, right? <laughs> just step, I just step I think on it. it. Oh, step on it. Yes, so hold it in place, yeah. And you just... There you go. Ah, you don't have to press hard. No, you don't. So see, you then it'll be, it'll be uh, flat down. So I have, if you want some of these, I have some black... Black, red, gold, and silver. So, and I have more in in the back. So we can do that. Another thing is sometimes, and as you see, there's all all the bottle caps that I have. Most of them came. Stu has a nephew who has a beer distributorship. So we sure. <laughs> <laughs> so we got a bunch of you know when they take uh, bottle caps off at the bar, they're not worried about. Yeah. Whether they're bent or not. So a lot of these are bent, and if you normally, you know, now that I have so many, I can just throw some away. But sometimes there's some very special ones you don't want to throw away. So what we did was we, you can just use a dowel rod, and you know, put put it on the dowel rod, and then put you know a piece of something on so it doesn't hurt it. And I just tap it. So I'm just mentioning that if you have some special bottle caps that are ruined that you want to. Get back, or you can put them on my on my apparatus there, and that'll straighten them out too. So, and also when you get to the edge, sometimes um, you know things are a little tight, and if that happens, you can kind of you can crimp them with a, a pliers. You know, some of those that uh, Marlia had on the tape, people completely flattened them. It's a whole different technique than what I do. You know, like mine are still open in the back, so when we set them into the the mortar. You know that the, it completely fills that, but some people flatten them completely, and then they use little tacks. Excuse me, nail them together. But anyway, if you want to kind of bend them, obviously you can just bend them in a little. If you're trying to get them to to fit in edge, just once in a while that is a problem. So just a little tip. Um, another thing is, so what we're going to do is lay out our design on the, this tag board that I've cut. And uh, let's just say you, you've laid out your design, and you don't want to mess it up, but you decide you don't like the colors in there. So I have everybody has on their table a little bit of museum putty, so you can just if you rather than stick your fat fingers in there, you can just pick it up, you know, oh. museum putty. Oh. It's worth the price it's of admission. Tip all the day. <laughs> and where do you find your museum putty? At uh, Miningers, maybe oh. elsewhere. I don't know. <laughs> Does everybody? Do people use it? Have you ever heard of it? Oh, 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 no, really? Oh, we're not kidding. Oh, oh, okay. 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 Another thing is, you know, a lot of these are designs are really linear. So if I was to have, say, these all lined up so the hands were all sticking up, your eye, you know, would immediately go to that. So I just kind of consciously think. You know, four o'clock, one o'clock. You know, as I turn them when I'm placing them, just so nothing you know stands out. That's that's exactly the same. So we're going to. Uh, so Ron, Ron made these beautiful. This might be a little confusing, but let me give you an example. You know, since the bottle caps are just about one and an eighth, or one and a sixteenth, um, you know, if I originally was going to make these six by six, and there's big gaps on the side, this is what this board is. So I decided. So Ron has cut. We've got these are five and three quarters by five and three quarters, and if you put horizontal lines, then you have like diamond shapes in between them. That's one option. Another option, these are five and a half by six, and you can, you have one horizontal line, and then you can offset them so they're sort of tucked in there, and that only leaves gaps on the ends. And then the third one, it's five and a half by five and three quarters. It's a, for a circular design, I showed you that one where I had the, the plain caps on the outside. So everybody should just come up and get 
a um, tag board that matches the size of your template, and then we'll start. Everybody, just go ahead and lay out your design, and while you're doing that, I'm going to start mixing up some mortar. Right, yeah. yeah. See how it's kind of nice? Yeah. Ah, to have okay. a little, this has yeah. a little more of a dome, you see, okay. for the bottle cap. So just be careful because once you push them in, you can't pull them out. <laughs> so, better to err on the side of not too far. So, that's what I'm doing right now. I do them sideways. Yeah. And we are so appreciative. And we want to make sure you do it again. So and I know the two people that you are, you're going to say no, but sometimes in life you just have to be, you just, yeah. it's not a guy. <laughs> sometimes you just have to be gracious in life. And I don't know what's in here. I mean, I know there's money. We have collected a donation to present to you guys. You split it up however you want. I don't know how much is here, but it's pretty good. So, to you guys. <laughs> 